Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we are going to do how to enter journal entries from a revaluation account or how to do the journal entries when the business is revaluing its assets and liabilities. So before last video, we had done one revaluation account. So today, first we will check how to enter journal entries in the time of revaluation account. First, revaluation account, you know, as we did in the last class, assets and liabilities revaluation we are doing in the revaluation account. So first we can check the asset items. Asset item means asset increase and asset decrease. When asset increase, we know it went on the credit side. So, revaluation account was credit, asset was debit. So, the first item, asset account debtor to revaluation account. When the asset increase, uh, always asset increase in asset means debit. So, asset account debtor to revaluation account. While decrease in asset means, we know that is just opposite credit. Asset increase means asset account debtor to revaluation. Asset decrease means revaluation account debtor to assets account. So here asset increased asset and decreased assets is given here. Increased asset on the credit side. Decreased asset on the debit side. So first decrease in asset. Decrease in asset means asset goes to the credit. Revaluation comes on the debit. So first journal entry. Revaluation account debtor debtor to machinery. It means machinery value. Machinery is the asset value decreased. The decrease was 10,000. So debit side 10,000. Credit side 10,000. What is the narration? Decrease in value of machinery. Decrease in value of machinery. We have one date column. So we have to enter the date. What is the date? Date we do. What is the date of the balance sheet? Here the date of the balance sheet is March 2017. So, all journal entry here, only one date, that is the balance sheet date. So, we have to write only one time, only we need to write the date. 2017, March 31st, this is our date. We follow the same date, no need to write again and again, only you write only one time. So, second journal entry. Now, increase in asset we done. Revaluation account debtor to machinery account. Decrease in asset is just opposite. Which asset is decreased? That will be debited. And revaluation is credited. Here, the increased asset, patent and building. Increase in asset is always debited. Patent account debtor, building account debtor, and patent account debtor, building account debtor to revaluation account. to revaluation account. What is the increase in patent and building? 10,000, 25,000, total is 35,000. So, 10,000 debit, 25,000 also increased, asset increased debit. Total amount is 35,000 revaluation on the credit. Revaluation account is 35,000. What is the narration? Increase in value of patent and machinery. Increase in value of patent and machinery. 
second journal entry also done. So first we are done with assets. We have asset increase and decrease. We done. Next our rule liabilities. How to do the liabilities journal entry. The liabilities one. Increase in liability and decrease in liability. Increase and decrease in liability. Liability increase on the credit. Liability decrease on the Liability increase on the credit and liabilities decrease on the debit. So, increase in amount of liability, revaluation account debtor to liabilities account, decrease in amount of liability, just opposite, liabilities account debtor to revaluation account. But here, in this question, we don't have no revalue of liability. We revalued only assets. Then, next rule is unrecorded asset. Unrecorded asset means we again record the asset. Same effect of increase in asset. Asset account debtor to revaluation. While increase in liability. Increase in liability means revaluation account debtor to liabilities account. Finally, we transfer the profit. Transferring the profit means Profit is going to partner's capital account. Revaluation account debtor to all partner's capital account. So here we have profit distribution. Profit distribution on the debit side of revaluation account. So revaluation account debtor to Mithali's capital, Indus capital and Keitha's capital account. Profit sharing revaluation account debtor to Mithali's capital account Mithali's capital account next partner Indus capital account then Geetha's capital account. What was the total of the revaluation profit? Revaluation profit was our revaluation profit is 25,000. This is distributor as Mithali 12,500. Indu 7500 and Geeta 5000. So, revaluation profit is 25000. We transferred Mithali. Mithali, how much was we transferred? Mithali 12500. Indu 7500 and Geeta 5000. What is the narration? Narration is revaluation profit revaluation profit transferred to revaluation profit transferred to partner's capital account. partner's capital account. This is the final general entry of this question. Asset increasing, asset decreasing and distribution of profit. Hope you all are clear with today's class and yesterday's class revaluation. So now we are done. How to do the revaluation account you know now. Then how to enter the general entries in the time of Revaluing assets and liabilities also we learned now. We will see with another video in next day. Thanks for watching.